recording. Hey. Hey, so uh, if you attended the lesson last time, I uh, hope that you understand the concept about dimensions. Well, in fact, uh, for 7.4, uh, there are only a few questions uh, involving, uh, like asking you for what dimension it is. For example, one dimension, two dimension, three dimension. Well, in fact, the most important concept about this is you can identify that the relationship between dimension and degree. Okay, still so remember what is meant by degree? Well, anyone likes to tell me what is meant by degree? Uh, the exponent. Oh, okay, yeah. thank you very much. I, at least I, I received some response. Okay, I, I hope that you can be more active to uh, answer my question. Okay, uh, dimension and degree actually have the same meaning. They share the same meaning. For example, if we have one dimensional, then this is similar to degree one. Okay, and what is meant by degree is like how many variables. Okay, this is the keyword. How many variables multiply together? Right. For example, we have uh, x, y, then this is degree how much? Two. Oh, okay, very good. Okay, thanks for the answer. Okay, uh, degree two. Okay, so how many variables? If we have pi r cube, then what is the degree of this? Three. Okay, this is degree three. three. Okay, and then uh, so you should uh, associate dimension with degree. Okay, and for dimension, you also need to know the English word for each of them, which are length. This one is area. This one is volume. Okay, so uh, I hope that you can associate all this. Then in 7.5, you will find this uh, relatively easy to digest, okay, but still very hard. Okay, uh, now I try to uh, introduce this. Oh, sorry, I let you see something. All right, so I want to introduce this to you, okay? If I have a square here uh, with the side length being one, okay? What if I double it side length? Scale by two. Okay, like this. So I think this is a very easy question for you because you can find the area, right? All right so uh, do you think that the area will double? No, it will no. four times. Okay, so you can find out that the area will become four times of it. Agree? Okay, because for this one, you can easily find that out. All right, if I change a little bit the value of that, two times two, and then three times three, Okay, so what will be the new area if the length ratio is 2 to 3? Then the area ratio will be 4 to 9. Will be 4 to 9. Okay. Okay, this easy example will illustrate why, because uh, for a square, you can easily find that out. Agree? Okay, right, so. What about if I have a certain strange shape like this? Okay, so if I say that two figures are similar, okay, similar is a uh, is the key word. Okay, similar. If they are similar, then I should have something to be true, which is if each I will use the very magical word here. And in this lesson, I will only hope that you can remember this magical word, which is called corresponding. Okay, corresponding parts of each figure. If each corresponding part of each figure is having the same ratio, for example, like this, one to two, Three to six, seven to fourteen, four to eight. Okay, these numbers are just some random numbers, but such just some random numbers. But you can see that for each corresponding part, I double it. Each corresponding part, I double it. 
Okay, of course, how many corresponding parts are there? Okay, I wish you are thinking about it. Okay, uh, there are actually infinity many corresponding parts. Not only talking about the length here. Even I say, oh, I am talking about this length. This is uh, 30, uh, just for example, or so it's wrong. Okay, even I talk about these two, they are still some corresponding part of this, uh, these two figures. Okay, so if I find that each corresponding part of the figures have the same ratio, they have the same ratio, then I should also have the area having the same ratio. Is the ratio the same as the length ratio? No. Oh, okay, thanks, Jamie Young. I think my calculation is wrong, but anyway, I just picked some random number. Okay, so uh, I hope you can see that. I know some of you are already quite lost now, okay, but I hope you know that if the length ratio is two to three, the area ratio will be four to nine. Okay, so here, if all the length ratio is one to two, then, for example, if I know that, the area of this thing is 50 cm square. Then what about the area of this thing? 200 cm square. Yes, it will become 200 cm square. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. The area is 4 times big. Oh, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. Okay, this is what I was going to talk about. My God. OK， 俾少意見啊！有冇嚟到呢度有冇人係 get 唔到、跟唔到 ？get 唔到 ，get 唔到。唔係好 get 喎，點解成四？點解成四啊？即係話，如果條邊係 double 嘅，咁佢個 area 係一定係四倍，係咪一定？就係、是、四倍，係一定係四倍嘅。好，因為我唔想去太快，因為我覺得你未必好跟到嘅。咁但係如果真係跟唔到，我哋用翻呢個例子啦，好冇？例子，係啊，等。有少少難用啊！好，頭先咧咪話用誒正方形例子係最好計噶嘛？如果正方形係咪一比二，咁個 area 就會係一比四噶嘛？同唔同意先？嗯哼。OK， so actually， 啊、uh, ， the area ratio is length ratio times square， 唔唔係 times two， 係 square。Right, because I, I want you to associate with the dimension part. Right, if length ratio is dimension one, then area ratio should be dimension two. So the ratio of length is one to two, then the ratio of area would be one to two. Sorry, I, I should write in more precise way in mathematics. Would be one over two square. The area ratio would be one over two square. Okay. Uh, if you really cannot understand, then you are just like trying to put this part. Oh. Uh, anyway, okay, I put it away. All right, you try to put this part. Okay, so for each small, each small square here, the corresponding part would become four square. All right, for each square here, the corresponding part should become four square. Okay, so actually the area ratio would be the length ratio square. All right, so I already try my best to uh, tell you why, but of course uh, by doing the math, you will very soon remember this uh, results, okay? Uh, 好，停一停啊！誒、呃，有冇大問題先？關於 length 同 area 嘅比例，我用一個少少嘅例子啦，呢度。好，慢慢再消化下。Okay, I'll use another example to talk about uh, what about the volume ratio, volume ratio. Okay, let's say uh, if for the left figure, I have the volume to be x, y, z, agree? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, and then on the right hand side, if I say that these two are similar, what's meant by similar? It means that, um, okay, it means that uh, for each length, the ratio is the same. Okay, so if I have three times of the uh, left hand figure, then I will have three X here, three Y here, and then three Z here. Okay, so what is the new volume? What is the new volume? Yeah, so X, Y, Z. Yes, okay, we have three X, three Y, three Z, which is 27 XYZ, 27 XYZ. Okay, and you can also observe something. It means that if I have a small cube, uh, not cube, I have a small cube ball here, and then I try to multiply by three on the side width and also the height, then actually is much, much, much bigger. Okay, so for this, uh, example actually I I thought about the same question uh, a long time ago uh, is that when I went swimming okay I, I know that in this class many of you went swimming okay and I always think that the volume of the water inside the swimming pool is not that much in the past when I was young when I was young I think that the volume in of water is not that much Okay, but uh, because normally, you know, uh, every day we only drink two liter of water. Okay, but if you try to drink up all the water inside the swimming pool, you can guess how long you need. Actually, a lot because um, the length is very big, the width is very big, and then the depth is very big. Okay, so you can see that uh, actually, uh, 可能即係例如倍大十倍到啦。其實個 volume 已經爭一千倍，其實已經爭好遠。即係我想你有個咁嘅感覺，嘅感覺。我、okay, so for the length ratio and volume ratio, the, uh, you can see that the ratio of volume is actually the length ratio to the power three. Can you feel that? Can you feel that? Here, length ratio is one to three, and then volume ratio would be one to twenty-seven. Okay, 即系三次方咗啦。Okay, 一比三，一比二十七。啊，咁差唔多教完噶啦，即係講個 concept 上，不過做就好難嘅嚇。咁誒嚟到呢度都係咪有少少感受啊？即、就、係、是、我想你嘅感受到，即、就、係、是、area 就係二次方啦 ，volume 就係三次方啦。好，咁啊，再俾多少少例子你啦。OK， so if I look at the same diagram here， same diagram here。Okay, but this time I do not want to look at the volume. I want to look at the area. Let's say if I talk about this shaded area only. Okay, if they are similar figures, all right then, what is the area here? And the area on the right hand side. Nine exact. 9x y 9x y. Okay, so you can see, uh, although the same length ratio is one to three, but the area ratio is not one to twenty seven. X y is the one on the bottom. X y. Oh yes, 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 yes. Sorry, sorry. X x set. Hey, my bad, my bad. Ah, Jamie, you only just see fun. Hey, really, you hear. Okay. Ah, 咁就 area ratio 啊 ，it will be. One to nine, okay. And then just now we say that the volume ratio would be one to twenty-seven. Length ratio is one to three. Oh, okay. So actually, this is the conclusion of today. Although you may find that oh, is it always true for no matter what shape you have, no matter what solid you have, is it? Uh, yes, I can say. Right, but uh, in this context, I think I cannot prove to you why. But I hope you can try to picture, picture that the ratio should 
always be the same for all similar solids here. Okay. 一比三，一比三嘅 square， 一比三嘅三次方個 ratio。OK， and so what about this？ OK， if I want to say that they are similar figure， 係啊，我頭先特登影低佢，真係覺得，我覺得係一個好好嘅例子嚟嘅。點解咧？因為我想講咧，就算係任何嘅形狀咧。都得嘅，任何嘅形狀都得嘅。咁咩叫誒、uh, corresponding parts 咧？啊、uh, ，it's not only talking about some boring stuff like cool boy. 啊、uh, ，even this very cute thing, it still has the same concept. Okay. 啊、uh, ，what's meant by、uh, similar figures? You can see that just now I just 啊、uh, ，let's、like、zoom in, zoom out, and make it bigger. So for each corresponding part. They have the same ratio, agree? Okay, for example, the length of this cute hand, I will have 2 cm here, for example, and then this one would be 6 cm multiplied by 3. And then I talk about the area of this ear. If I have 8 cm square for this ear, then what should be the area of this part? All right, so this is a typical question that you will have okay, because they are similar figures. I see the length ratio is oh, Length ratio Oh, mute Megan Kong, Megan Kong will mute How can we tell you length ratio? Uh, it's Just yeah, see. Ah, ah. Oh, see. Oh. Ah, 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 Oh, what is the length of figure A to the length of figure B? What is the length of figure A to the length of figure B? I'll ask you again. I'm just going to ask you again. 你知我講乜嘢咧 ？The length ratio is this one. Or、oh, one to three, of course. Thank you. 誒、uh, ，is it Nathan answering me? 定係 Thomas 啊 ？Thomas 啊。哦 ，Thomas 嘅。Okay. 誒、uh, ，this is yes. Two to six or one to three. This is called the length ratio. And what about the area ratio? Area ratio would be. Agree.、Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Uh, you can see that this type of question is quite similar to the similar triangle question. Similar triangle question. However, this is not similar triangle. They are similar solid. Okay, so this is the length ratio, and then that is the area ratio. So this is how we calculate x. This is how we calculate x. Now, we do it many times. You can understand it. 啊！如果陣 run out of time， 我會再開多個嘅。好咁誒、呃，或者你會明白到咧點樣揾 x 咧？就係、是、原來呢個叫一比三，個 area ratio 應該一比九噶。咁我揾到 x 咯，係嘛？即、就、係、是、so I can calculate like this: one over nine equals to eight over x, then x equals to seventy two. Okay, so up to here, do do you think you can follow? Okay, let me try to ask you another question. Another question. Okay, 咁啊，大家見到呢只咁嘅公仔咧，係咪佢個肚腩係咪好好得意啊？好，我就講下佢呢個肚腩呢個位呢一 part 啦，嗰個 volume 同埋呢一個嘅 volume， 好對應嘅。Okay， 呢個 volume， 咁咧就係幾多咧？啊！如果假設我知道呢個叫做四十 cm cube 嘅 
Okay, so what is the volume on the left hand side? Okay, so this is a classwork question for you to try. Okay, I'll give you one minute to figure it and then I will ask you for the answer. Okay. if你嘗試識這個 有沒有同學已經寫出來,你有想影張相也好,或者你想share給我們看的 不要那麼怕醜,大家做了可以給大家看看 哦,因為我不想說 我懷疑你應該搶到我的,即如果你一撳你應該搶到。Jimmy用你是不是這樣啊? 應該想衝出來啊 你可以把Google 我們做一張紙<笑> 
Okay, uh, the screen, uh, the answer is just like two over six, and then uh, x, uh, maybe y, I use, I use y here, then y over 40. Okay, then you have to match the dimensions as well, right? So we have area ratio, uh, the volume ratio is the cube of length ratio. Okay, and then you have one over 27 equals to y over 40, y equals to 40 over 27. All right, so this is all the steps that you need to do. Okay, uh, so uh, up to here, I think you can manage to do quite a number of questions. Okay, uh, so let me show you how to present and then I will give you some time to work a few questions. Okay, so uh, up to here, we are supposed to know how to do number one up to number 16 already. Okay, so I will show you number one and number seven, how do you present your answer? And then I will ask you to do uh, some of them. Okay, number one first. All right, so uh, this is to ask you to find the area ratio. Area ratio. Also, obviously, the length ratio is what? Number one. Four over eight. Yeah, four uh, over eight. Very good. Yeah, or one over two, four over eight. All right, so uh, how do we present our answer? We can just write required ratio equals to four over eight square. One, two, four, finish. All right, so this is all we need to write for number one. All right, there is only one thing that I want you to avoid, which is if you write four to eight and then square, uh, conventional, this is not accepted. Okay, uh, we should not write ratio square, we should write fraction square. And then the final answer would be in ratio form. Okay, so I suppose you can do number two, number three, number four as well. Okay, and then uh, before the first section ends, I want to talk about number five as well. Okay, so for this type of questions, uh, this is a very nice and easy question because it already let XCM square for you, right? So what we need to do is just to write the corresponding ratio, which is three over four, and then 18 over X, and then we have to match the dimension. It means length ratio square equals to 18 over X. Okay, and then the next step would just be some calculation, which is 32, I guess. Oh, yeah, okay, so that's it. All right, and then number five to eight is something like that. All right, so first session, I think it's about a little time. Everyone, let's try to do one to eight and number 13. Number 13, yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, and then I will give you some time, okay, and then I will start the section two, okay, about uh, checking the answer and also talk about something more. All right, so uh, number one to eight, and then number 13. I think it will end me very soon. Jared. Yes. Can I express the uh, equation with uh, scale factor to the uh, dimension? 